Welcome back guys, thanks for tuning in. I'm Raf from Travel and Lifestyle and today we're in the kitchen and I have a good friend of mine, Andreas by Bake by Andreas. So today we'll be trying a microwave chocolate cake. I know, who bakes a cake? Microwave a cake, is that even a term? <laughs> call it microwave mug cake. Yeah, so let's get started. All the ingredients that I bought today uh, are from your local supermarket. So whether you're from Coles or Woolies, not sponsored by any of these guys, but it's practical things that you can buy and it's affordable as well. Um, and also, so we're talking about sort of bake assist, we're looking at KitchenAid. So thanks to KitchenAid, we've got this beautiful oven, microwave oven on the back and a mixer as well. So we're gonna use these products and see what we can do and hopefully have some fun along the ways. And I'll be asking, and just on, on tips, on you know what makes a perfect okay, cake. So we're making a chocolate mud cake Yum. and we are going to start off with measuring our ingredients. So I, I, can I ask a question? Why dry ingredients first before anything else? You need to actually separate your dries and your wets only because you want it to mix evenly. So at the moment we're going to mix all the dries together, stir it out around first so One it's all evenly in. distributed and then we're adding the wet ingredients. Does that make sense? Yes. Did I explain it? Yeah, it sounds perfectly sense. And to me. any professional cake makers out there, if that's incorrect, please let me know in the comments <laughs> below, okay? You're done with the flour. I am done with the flour, so we just need one cup of flour. Yeah, one cup of flour, and that's then we need um, three quarters of a cup of um, sugar. Straight into the mixing bowl as well. So, Ralph, yep. can you please tell me, because this What's is up? a q and I mean, you asked me a question, I think it's my turn, right? Okay, here we go. Okay, so what got you into this whole cooking thing? Because, I mean, the last thing you did, I did see a seafood cooking class that you did as well, and then you invited me on with baking. So what's going on? Are we, are we transitioning? Are you becoming a chef? Uh, yeah, no, I wanted to become a, a better cook and how to cook things, because me in the kitchen, I have serious panic attacks. Like, I don't know what I'm doing with recipes and stuff like that. Get and, zoom in on and this one. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like, you know, everyone, everyone cooks their own ways and they can use yeah. different ingredients. I, I like to learn how to do things that's quite quick and simple, having a busy lifestyle. Okay, so cool. um, we've got, got oh. all the dry ingredients now. So we've got flour. The flour. We've got sugar. sugar. We've, we've got, got soda. and then what, about three or four spoons of uh, cocoa powder? Yes. Great. That's all mixing. What so else do we need to do? Let's take it out. Let's show everybody. So, that's good. That's good. Um, instead of using butter, we're just going to use oil today because it's just a lot easier than having to melt butter on something I've never used before in case I burn <laughs> the butter. We use that added flavour and unscented oil. Uh, but if you do want something to come out a little bit more creamier and you don't mind having an extra second process in between, then definitely go for it. So we've got oil. And the the unscented brown oil? Yeah, unscented oil. So you can use brown oil, vegetable oil. I generally would steer away from vegetable oil and olive oil because they both actually have a little bit of a scent. They do smell. Oh, okay, so... So three quarters. So about half a cup here. Yeah. So just one more quarter of that. And then we've got 300 mils of milk. Measures out to be about one and a half cup. One and a half? Yeah, one and a half cup. And again, you can adjust depending on um, the fat, the fattiness of the milk as well. Um, if you don't like the fatter consistency to be so runny and you want it a little bit firmer, you can then adjust the liquid volume. Yeah, so just to mix it in. And then this is where we mix the dry ingredients with the wet ingredients. I'm going to do the pouring for you. you the pouring? So what I'm going to get you to do is I'm going to get you to slowly make a little well in the middle. You make a well. And when I start pouring, you start mixing, yeah? Okay. Do you want to Have you done this before? No. Okay. Do you want to do it? No, no, it's okay. Do you just mix? We're all on. It's a learning process. It's a learning process. We learn something new every day. Every day. So what we want to do is, that that's amazing, that looks really good. So we're not getting any clumps in there. Okay. You know how sometimes when we make pancake batter, we get clumps? No clumps at all. So that's perfect, but we don't want to work the flour too much either. Okay, Great. are you ready? Okay. Let's try this. Okay, we need two cups. Let's put a spoon into two cups. So you're going to put it in an actual cup, in a mug. Okay, yeah. all right, so let's go and grab those. Do you have a spoon? The, it, the thing with this, I actually always thought it was a silly idea and then I was like, oh my goodness, when I got one, I was like, best thing ever because, I'll show you why. So we scoop and then we've got the exact size, right? And then when you flip, 
You don't have to use another spoon if it's your back. What? I don't know, I look at that. It just, and then that's it. There you go. I do the same thing on this, to be honest. You just scoop and drop. So, two <laughs> scoops. Okay. Yes. Let's go, guys. Okay. Let's see how this goes. All we'll right. be back with our final product. Cool. All right. Let's try so, we're going we're gonna to try one. All right, cool. Hey. The first step is putting the cake inside the thing and then. Deciding or battling what you want to do. Cake is this? Are you sure? Cake. I'm just gonna press cake. Chocolate cake. There you go. Normally it takes 30, 30 seconds um, for the first batch, and then I'll take it out and then I'll put it back into the microwave. So about two minutes we'll get our mug cake. So, so whilst that is baking, let's do some Q and A. How's that wine? That's good. Would you like a glass? Baking with wine. A little bit more about you and, and Bake by Andreas. What's your speci yeah. What's your speciality? Sugar and flour a lot, and I like to draw faces. And I think baking, I mean, it, it puts you back in a happy space, right? Everyone loves food, so I find food connects people. So, oh, absolutely. I did bring some cookies today, oh, some little cones. Um, yeah, so I, I decorate a lot of things because staring at them makes me happy. And then afterwards, we're gonna eat this one. So, Two minutes later, we were chopping that. You, have you seen SpongeBob? And it says two minutes later on the screen. Meanwhile. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile. I think it's ready. You guys ready? Let's go. It's ready? You sure it's ready? Oh, these came out really, really good. So we put three scoops in each, so you can see that. And it was not even filling half the cup. Look at that. This is, ooh. Be careful, it's actually warm. Is there a way to test it to, to ensure it's cooked? Well, first, we're, of course, we go by feel. Secondly, we're gonna just put it in your mouth and see. <laughs> That's one what way to do this? it. This is your fancy uh, ice cream scoop. This is my fancy. Who doesn't love an ice cream scoop like this? And then you can add chocolate dripping. So I melted some chocolate a little bit earlier. Of course, it's my favorite, Cadbury chocolate. And then. Or you, can, or you can put any topping that you want, really. Any topping, yeah. but for me, because I'm bougie like that. Bacon. We love a bit of bougie. bacon. But <gasps> bacon, like bacon. You have to try bacon with ice cream. Okay, there you go. Okay, so try this it. is this is this is okay, it. This is the moment of truth, guys. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, while she's away. Okay, so. Is it good? I haven't even tried it yet. Relax, <laughs> woman. <laughs> All right. Why so, should they offer vanilla? I'm gonna just get rid of strawberries. Strawberries are really fresh. Okay, I'm I love that. Okay. okay, so is it cooked? I'm just trying to get all the layers and all the different flavorings along. The ice cream, the chocolate cake, the cocoa powder. Can you cook or bake, microwave a, a cake or a cupcake or any sort of form of desserts? I say yes. And the question is, did I do a good job? You let me know with the comments below. Um, if you have any other suggestions in terms of recipes, whether it's savory to other types of desserts and you want to see me back in the kitchen again, like and subscribe on the YouTube channel. I'm Raph from Travel and Lifestyle and thank you so much to the gorgeous, gorgeous lady that she is, Andreas from Baked by Andreas. Hello, come on board. Um, thank, <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much for today. Thank you for having me, guys. And um, I'll talk to you guys soon. Ciao. Save peace.